Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a movie review, and this is for the new Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark movie review. So I'm going to discuss what I watched and let you know my thoughts on this uh, movie, or what I thought of this movie. So let's dive into this review. Now, the main character in this movie is Stella, and... She has friends named Ramon, Chuck, August, and another, and Chuck's sister named Ruth that's in this story. And it first starts off with uh, Tommy, I'm not going to spoil it, but you pretty much know that the Scarecrow Herald is gonna go after Tommy and uh, Ruth there's a lot of scenes in here that uh, got very scary and creepy at the same time I think this movie mostly relied on it being scary but there were moments where it did feel a little scary <laughs> uh, and there were other moments where it was just creepy at the same time. And the CGI in these movies, scary movies nowadays, are just surreal. Uh, they're so surreal. And, uh... Yeah, this... It's a movie that starts in 1968. They stumble upon a book in this haunted house. And then the story actually reads to them and writes its own story on what's going to happen to this person, how they're going to die, and what they're going to die from. It's pretty horrific how they die. And there's one scene in here that I saw with the big uh, lady the blobbish lady with a weird face and long black hair it it was so weird it she was going after the chuck kid in this movie i don't want to spoil anything for you if you guys have not seen this movie but it was just disgusting that scene and what happened in that scene it was really disgusting it was just like, ugh. But, uh, then there was one story that said the red spot, and that was a story for the character named Ruth, who you see in the story has, like, a pimple, and then spiders come out of her pimple, and it's really disgusting. Ugh, I hate spiders. Ugh, I can't stand them. Uh, I'm a big arachnophobia when it comes to spiders, <laughs> but yeah, overall this movie was not so bad. I, there were some scenes in here, sorry if I'm getting tired, that just kind of don't work and kind of get left out and some things unsaid, but I think it did good for what it was and how the movie went about itself and the movie kind of tells an interesting story <laughs> definitely but out of 10 I think I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10 this is not a bad movie it's something I can look back at and be like okay I enjoyed it for what it was it's enjoyable but it's still an average movie there were some scenes in here that don't work as well as it should and a lot of creepiness in this movie is what made me put me on the cringe side of really enjoying it uh but yeah, 7.5 out of 10 is what I'm going to have to settle with.
because it's not a bad movie it's just average comment below let me know what you guys thought of the new uh, scary stories to tell in the dark movie if you've seen it and if you like this review comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel I will be returning to you for the issues new single that's coming out tomorrow which I think it's called drink something drink it up or whatever it's called I'll have to go and look at it again and see what the song name is but I think it's drink it up if I'm not mistaken I like I said I'd have to look at the song name of it but and I'll also return to you for Starset's new single, Manifest, which is coming out on Thursday, which is August 15th. Uh, that's only like four days away now. We're getting pretty close to the release of Starset's new song. And Issues did say they were announcing, having an album announcement after the new single comes out tomorrow. So we're going to find out when their new albums getting a release date so but thank you for watching this review i hope you enjoyed it uh, for the most part <laughs> and i'll see you in my next video